Hello Aries, welcome on my channel, Triple Two Tarot. This is your girl TM and I'm back with another reading. This is uh, another reading that what is happening for you for the end of the rest of the March. What is happening, what is coming in your love and career and overall general. This has to suppose bi-weekly but I'm picking up all the rest of the March, okay? So yes, let's see what is coming next and what is happening in your energies. This is a second reading for Aries. I did already monthly reading of Aries uh, and all the stars. So check out on my channel. So let's see. Let's start the second cycle with all the stars. Let's see with zodiac signs what is happening. This is a sun, moon, rising, Venus, um, Aries reading. Uh, keep in mind this is a general, but you can come to me for personal reading if you want to. Check out the description box with the prizes and detail. And contact me on my email address. You can also join me on Instagram and Facebook for more fun. So let's see what happened um, recently. Oh, wow. We have the devil, disruption number 16. So could be dealing with Capricorn. This could be you have been working um, very hard. Like really, really hard for your uh, money, for your pentacles. Some of you, you were in a toxic cycle with someone. You know, you are still could be, I don't know, let, let's check out in the present, but I'm picking up recently, you were, or you were dealing with someone who was toxic, was unhealthy, or you were dealing with someone who is repetitive cycle with someone. Number 16 or 2 is significant for you. The next we have the, wow, two major arcana, something major happening. What happening are you were dealing with? We have this Pisces card, so could be dealing with Pisces. We have Capricorn and Pisces. Intuition. So yeah, someone was silent with you. They were not expressing their feelings to you or they were not communicative with you. Some of you were working with the, with the divine. You were manifesting something. Some of you, this could be, you can switch the energies if you're a cross watcher. I'm picking up there is some obsession energy here with someone. You know, really obsessive thinking here because we have intuitions and then we have this devil. There's definitely obsessive thinking here. You were thinking about this person or they were. Some of you, you were having a hard time in your material life, financial life. Yeah, we have to choose wisely what happened in the past. So yeah, you were really not dis um, like you were, you could be confused because this is a seven of cups, water energy. Choose wisely. You, ne you need to make a decision. I feel this is love. We have the two doves here. So this could be spiritual connection with two peoples. Uh, you could be waiting for someone to communicate with you, but they did not. Right. So this could be energy here because I'm picking up, um, there was a delay here and someone is really obsessed here. Thinking about the past, thinking about that, what should I do? Where should I go? Because it's really confusing. Some of you were really trapped in your own mind. You were not listening to your intuitions, right? Really, really difficult and making a hard time for you to choose and decide, basically. Let's see what is happening in your current energy. Wow, st stand your ground. This is like a seven of wands, choosing your battle. You feel like you are, this is like, you have double seven, by the way. You could be seeing seven, seven a lot. And seven is a heaven, right? Seven is a very spiritual number. So some of you, if you could be going through some spirituality or you're going deep within yourself to see what is happening and what you have to do. And this could be advice for you that you need to listen to your intuition. And you are the Aries like that, right? You, it's, it's look like you're saying me against the world. And you really want to be victorious here. Seven of Wands. So some of you in the love thing here, some some of you, this, this person could be blocking communication, not talking with you, or you could be. Some of you are really going through a very hard battle of your mind, like really could be fighting with your anxiety, fighting with your relationship, fighting with, fighting for your, for your groundability, fighting for your career, fighting for your job. There is something that you're fighting for and picking up. It's looked like a Aries, a fighter, is here fighting you guys are fighter i feel here when you choose you just choose but i feel here there was some confusion in the past right let's see in the present energy new beginning so yeah the fool taking the risk taking the leap of faith ready for new beginnings starting your new journey this could be a spiritual journey you're definitely connecting with someone who is your who is spiritual we have um aquarius and sagittarius energy here very strongly this could be I'm seeing here because you can see these planets here. So you could be live far, far from each other. And there's no communication. Yeah, there is no communication. So by the way, lovers wanna came up. 
gonna pop up but they it's, it's not came up okay we have the solar plexus chakra yeah bottom of the deck we have recognition and reward so yeah three of pentacles fill and trapped in the in in in, in fear and then we have foundations and achievement some of you differently this could be your home places like this is like a struggle going on at your home place so i mean some of you are having a hard time and difficult time at your home i'm picking up you know, some of you really want to buy a home, but you don't have a money. Feeling trapped by that, you're you have you're really struggling for money. I'm picking up because recognition and reward. This could be some of you really want to recognize by your workplace, and you want to see that you can get um, through that. You really want to be successful. Solar plexus chakra. So definitely working on your um, ground groundability, working on your uh, something serious and solid, security, safety. This is also talking about. Um, standing up on for your whatever you are believing in so yeah stand your ground so whatever you believe just do it what i'm picking up some of you really working uh, really want a job because three of pentacles this could be a teamwork or you really want to be with someone but they're not coming could be this could be um because this is four of wands home ground stability some of you really fighting for grounded um some security some safety you really want some security now, some, some something solid. It could it could be in relationship, it could be at your home place. It could be you you're looking some some solid and some safety within yourself. Like you're you're standing up for yours, you're fighting with something. This could be anxiety. Some of you are really feeling trapped that what should I do next? Look at this, it is swords, feeling trapped. You need to stand up. That's what they're talking about. Look at this. Stand up on your ground. Don't just sit down here and fight for it. Whatever you believe, whatever you want to do here and choose wisely, that's what your um, message here is. That is your advice here. Choose wisely wherever you want to go here. Follow the path. Again, this is a dove, spiritual connection or spiritual. I feel that universe is giving you a sign that this way. Follow that path. Trust your intuition. That's what came up, right? You need to follow your intuition. Trust that. I'm picking up this could be a union with someone like you really want to be with someone you really want to start a new beginning with someone you really wanted a new start with someone a new family new connection this could be new new job new home new house you really want to buy it there's something that you're really starting here fresh air working on it you're really working on it. i'm seeing pentacles i'm seeing money here some of you are you, this could be uh, something related with the family or something right now let's see who is coming towards you in love this was your energy okay you can switch the energies that whoever side you are but someone is here feeling trapped in the situation like they feel it's, it's it's out of their control it's not stand up trust your intuition and take action take the risk new beginnings and make this foundation and happy uh thing that and choose wisely that what is best for you listen to your intuitions this could be a fear of a commitment okay fear of losing someone fear of uh, rejection there's something here that you're fearing out but it's not some of you this could be work related this could be home related or this could be love related then we have the strength leo so yeah the person who's coming towards you they're very strong but they're not expressing their feelings to you the lovers yes gemini they have also two major arcana if it's, it's look like you both are mirroring each other again it's always came up in your reading soulmates and twin flame and we already have four of wands 11 11 we have lovers we have strength this is a very strong connection spiritual connection i told you when i see these doves here okay so yeah someone is not expressing their love to you the lovers and the strength they love you they have two feelings for you but they're not expressing it they're holding back their feelings we have nine of wands yeah they're guarded up they're not expressing it nine of swords because you have an argument with this person they could be waiting for you to make a move here let's see we have queen of pentacles so yeah this could be earth sign fire sign air sign the queen of pentacles for me it's it's, it's a virgo energy if, if she's a virgo woman or it could be a capricorn man if you're dealing with that so yeah this person wants some stability with you this is their energy they want something solid with you and uh, they, they could be for working on you could be both women's dealing with each other knight of pentacles taurus energy 
So yeah, they feel like you're coming very slow. They could be cut the communication with you, but now they're coming back. But they're coming very slow. They're taking very slow because they really want to know. They really want to know Aries that what you want from them. Because they are they are in this love, you know. And I feel you both are in love. You are fearing here. You're feeling trapped that they don't love you. They don't have feelings for you because there's no communication, right? There's no communication. There is uh, definitely misunderstanding here. They, you are feeling trapped here that they don't love you. They don't have feelings for you and they will not be back towards you. Or there will be no new beginning between you and this person. It's over. It's done. Okay. You want this new beginning with this person. But the lovers here, they are also want this. They really want to get this union with you. But they're holding back their feelings. Because they really want to see that what you want. And they could be waiting for your movement, your action. They could be observing you from afar. That What is your action? They're waiting for your action, what I'm picking up. There could be a difference between you and this person. So yeah, I feel that Queen of Pentacles is not going anywhere. She's waiting. If you're a feminine energy, she's waiting. She's waiting for this offer. But Knight of Pentacles is going some other director. It could be possible that they're seeing you that you're focused on somewhere else. Not on them. Could be business, could be job. So yeah, I feel they're waiting for your offer. Three of Cups. They want reconciliation with you. They want this union with you. There could be third party situation for some of you. That's why you can't be together. Nine of Cups. But you are, this person is wishing to beat with you. What I'm picking up. This Queen of Pentacles, whoever this is in feminine energy, they, whoever this person is coming towards you that you're dealing with, I feel that they really wish to be with you. They really want this. They, this is their wish. This is their happiness. But they're, they're, they're holding back their feelings. Could be a water sign that you're dealing with. They really want this three of cups, nine of cups with you, union with you. They really want to be live happily with you, happily ever after with you. But there's no communication. Nobody's taking action here. Let's see one, one more. Eight of pentacles. Yeah, they want equal give and take. And it's really tiring them up because they feel like they're the only one putting all the effort in this connection. Seven of Swords. There's a deception here between you and this person. Nobody making a move here. Again, it's coming up in your reading. It's look like you are seeing them. They are running away from you. And they're seeing that they're only the one putting all the effort. They're they are the one waiting for you. This could be another water fire sign. Eight of Pentacles. They want equal give and take. They don't want to be alone putting all the effort. So this that's why they're they're holding back their feelings. Okay, they want you to work on that because they feel like you need to show them, you need to give them proof that you are in this love connection equally. The lovers. And with this, uh, where it is, Eight of Pentacles. So yeah, they want equal give and take. They want you to be together. Like really, we are in. They want to listen from you. They, this person really wants proof of your love, what I'm picking up. Like really, you love them. This could be offer. This could be, you know, communication but yes they are waiting they want a proof from you they really want a proof that you are with them okay and you want them you really want this love too so yeah that's your reading i really hope it resonated see you later in the next video bye bye god bless you